And guys, we're back with the next episode of this, episode eight, I believe. And making his way down to the ring first is going to be Lewis C. The fact of the matter here is uh, they, they went through seven videos already. That's about seven matches a piece for each competitor, give or take, probably about five, six, something like that. Nonetheless, uh, Lewis making his way down to the ring here. And it's going to get interesting in the latter rounds as they will get wore out more going into the latter rounds. So you're going to look to see quicker matches prevail moving forward. And nonetheless, uh, Team UCW here making his way down to the ring first is Lewis. See, this is about to be one-on-one. -on -one. Lewis is about to go head-to-head -head with Manny the Geist of Alchemy. And let's just hope we don't have to hear that annoying-ass motorcycle again. Lewis is undefeated right now, I believe, in this tournament, which is very interesting. Single action wise, anyway. Undefeated, I believe. Did he get pinned in that tag team match? I believe he did get pinned in that tag team match. But single wise, he is undefeated right now. In this gold rush tournament, of course, Ben is not good enough for this episode. As he's apparently off doing something, I don't know exactly why. Nothing fishy with the uh, Pinta. Nonetheless, Lewis now making his way into the ring and wait, what? I just heard something's going on in the back right now. I hope it has nothing to do with Ben or Pinta for that matter. It's taking so long. Smackdown ref, check on him. Is he in the locker room? Just open the door, you idiot. Can you open the door? Oh, Harris. Dylan Harris with the connection there. And oh man, is that Manny? Yeah, Manny's dead. What the hell? Oh, making his way down to the ring here. What the hell? Uh, we just seen Manny got taken out backstage, and this looks like Slick Rick is now making his way down to the ring here to take the spot of Manny. Is that guy you see for Alchemy? See, this is very interesting because uh, right now Slick Rick's actually competing on both UCW and Alchemy, so this is uh, an interesting situation here. First Slick Rick finished out with season what is it? Is it season three of Alchemy right now, I believe it says it on the t-shirt. And nonetheless, I believe yes, it's season three of Alchemy. He just finished off with Slick Rick. And of course he's also a UCW competitor and Slick Rick now making his way into the ring. Rick now up on the ring post here. Uh, Lewis was definitely not uh expecting Slick Rick to come out here to take the match now. Already seen people have to be taken out of matches for uh, the UWA. I want to point out, as that is a real name, you can only do that twice. Therefore, of course, Nitro and Max Fader will be stuck in the rest of this tournament for UWA. And now it looks like either Slick Rick might be a one-off or he might stay. I mean, you, there's nothing says you can't switch back in like uh, Manny or any of those guys. SmackDown ref going to re-ring the bell here. SmackDown ref was back there checking on uh, Manny. Dylan Harris walked out of the locker room. Like I said, it was very dangerous for uh, Manny to start using the connections move based on the history. And now, oh... The shit talk in there from Slick Rick to Lewis. And I don't think Lewis can believe that, man, that uh, Slick Rick's taking this match here. He's expecting to fight Manny. Like I stated before, Slick Rick is 100% right now. Oh, and a chair over the back of Slick Rick there from Lewis C. Stomp to the back there from Lewis to Slick Rick. Oh, kick to the back there now, punch to the back of the head. And, oh, right there, counter jawbreaker there from Slick Rick, and now Rick, Rick has him up. We've seen Rick do this to Xander Mercer a few times on Mayhem. Oh, that big set out Samoan driver there from Slick Rick. He's not even Samoan, but you know, that's what he can't do. Is, that's what he says he can't do a Samoan driver. I knew that music was sounding familiar when that guy came out, and it was Slick Rick. The return of Slick Rick Tompkins here on a big right hand there. Now Slick Rick gonna counter with a big right of his own or a left hook, I should say. Now, oh, big knee lift there from Rick. 
Rick has quickly turned this match around. We got Lewis and Rick here going head to head. Both of them only use their first name. I think that's all they really need here to make an impact. Speaking of impact, uh, Lewis's head's bouncing off the floor out here on the outside. Lewis C now going to counter on Slick Rick there with a big clothesline. And now Lewis. Lewis with a headstand there on Slick Rick. That was very interesting there from Lewis C. And now Lewis with a big leaping elbow drop. Going to kip up after it. I assume Lewis is a little mad that a Slick Rick chose to help out Alchemy here. Instead of his home brand, which is UCW, and right there, a nice float of a neck breaker there from uh, Lewis C. Now Lewis once again going to go in for a headstand here, uh, once again gloating. Uh, Lewis C hasn't been shy of arrogance yet in this gold rush tournament. Slick Rick's face now is laying on the steps. That's not good. Oh, Rick there counters elbow to the midsection. Went to follow up. Lewis catches him. Power slam into the barricade. Now Lewis, I'm not exactly sure what he was thinking there. Gonna hit him with a neck breaker here. Fallout neck breaker on the floor. When I just stomped on the back of Slick Rick. This has been a very back and forth match so far. Although Lewis, we've noticed, has not been shy to use the weapons here. Uh, Slick Rick going to block it, though. Rick now has an opportunity to capitalize if he can. Big knee lift to the back. And I just sent Lewis into the steps. I don't know if that was inadvertently or what, but kick to the stomach there from Slick Rick. Now knocks him into the barricade. Ooh, another big punch there from Rick. Now Rick has caught Lewis and, oh, thumb to the eye. Thumb to the eye there from Slick Rick. Lewis now running at him. Float over neck breaker again. Connects on the floor. This whole match has been on the outside so far. The funny thing is it's uh, not no, it's not Falls Count anywhere. I mean, one of these two have eventually got to win the match. I mean, <laughs> I think right now they're just trying to make a statement. And so Lewis C's doing a pretty good job of it at that. Uh, just continuing into the head block here. It's very douchey and I might say annoying, but it's effective. Now Slick Rick going to get up counter, shoulder tackle takedown there to Lewis. Eventually Slick Rick had to gain, regain control and right there was the opportunity. Oh, a big leg drop across the throat of Lewis C. Now a Slick Rick calling her a a one, I'm not sure, maybe looking for the one last move to finish him here. I suppose so, it looked like he's going to send him in the ring. Lewis was playing possum and he regains control here. Now Lewis, oh, went to kick him, Slick Rick caught the leg, sweeps the feet out from under him. Oh, and now going to turn him into a Boston Crab here. Boston Crab submission applied to Lewis C. We're not in Boston, we're in the Philippines, but right now we got a Boston Crab locked in. Lewis C now going to flip out of it though. Nice counter, Slick Rick counters back elbow to the face of Lewis. Wait, Rick, oh, we've seen this before. No, oh, he has gone for the knee of the head, but Lewis counters. Oh, God, angle slam. No, oh, big angle slam from Lewis. Cover on Slick Rick. One, two, will he remain undefeated? Three, yes, he does. And just like that, Lewis C remains undefeated here. She was an impressive win there from Lewis. He just knocked off Slick Rick. That damn. It was a pretty good match there to kick off uh, this episode. Very interesting situation, too. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what uh, Alchemy's got to think about that either. But nonetheless, UCW picks up another point. Slick Rick with the W. I mean, not Slick Rick with the W. But Lewis C with the W. Once again, when these new people come in, they just fuck up.
interesting match to kick off the show. And now going on in, in the match two, we've got Kill Switch Joe as he's about to go head to head with Nitro. And this is a very interesting situation because once again, back to back, two UCW wrestlers are competing with the two that's in the tournament, I should say, not two of them, the two that's in the tournament. KSJ and Lewis C both competing back to back. And the thing is right now, Lewis C just got them up to where they're only one point behind Alchemy in UWA. Two points behind AWF who are leading right now with seven. And then of course, Alchemy in UWA has got six. UCW now has five. BNP has one. Still only one. And tonight they're not going to have an opportunity to get any more points because they're not booked on the card after all those matches they had the last couple of nights. Nonetheless, uh, Kill Switch Joe is now about to go head to head with Nitro of the UWA. And of course, like I said, Kill Switch Joe wins this match, which is not very likely given their past track record of match wins in the current situation like this, where they have two matches back to back. Thing is, if they can win, though, they tie with Alchemy and UWA for second. If UWA can win, if Nitro can win for UWA, who is now represented by Nitro and Max Fatal, if, if they can win, if Nitro can get this W here, then guess what? Then they, then they move into second. They, they move in and tie with AWF, is what I was trying to say. Now you hear the beat drop for Nitro Steam, and now here comes the last living member of the U AWA, uh, everyone's favorite superstar, representing the UWA, Nitro. The Nitro Nightmare, probably the most... Uh, wouldn't want to say high flyer because you've got the AWF guys, but the, uh, the most eccentric wrestler here in this tournament. Nitro, of course, came in in place of Chief Graham. Like I said, I gave each team an opportunity to switch out at, at twice at the most, if you can. If you have people here to switch out, if you have people you can switch out, two people, then you can do so. Nitro and Max Fatal have both had to come in early as Chief Graham and GMP did not work well together. And I can now tell you that match has been scheduled for the UWA Halloween special coming up in October. Nonetheless, Killswitch Joe's about to go head to head with Nitro. And SmackDown Rev rings the bell. We're going to get this matchup underway. Nitro in control first sweeps the legs out from under KSJ. And now, right after the leg of Killswitch Joe goes Nitro. Nitro Nightmare starting off strong here. Double legs to the wing wing there of KSJ. Now he went to follow up. Killswitch Joe going to counter punch him in the dick as well. Talk about fair play now. Four him to the face. Keep in mind I said fair play, not four play, nonetheless. Uh, now KSJ is going to continue on him here. KSJ now elbow across the face. We see a very interesting match, last match, to kick off this show today between Lewis C. and Slick Rick Tompkins, who came in to take Manny's spot for that match. I don't know if Slick Rick's uh, completely taking his spot now in this tournament, but he took his spot for that one match at least. Now Nitro off the ropes. We know GMT won't be cleared until Halloween to compete. So or until the Halloween special, I should say, in October. So GMT's completely out. And I've completely taken Chief Graham out as well for attacking GMT in the first place. So Nitro and Max Fatal now it looks like will be the two confirmed competitors for UWA for the rest of this tournament. Now that they took their two spots. Nitro able to rule out of the way. Now KSJ sends him off the ropes. Nitro going to roll through here. Ooh, big kick to the stomach. Knee to the face. And that just drops kill switch Joe, man. That just drops kill switch. And of course, the main event still to come is going to be Max Fatal versus the other half of Alchemy, which is going to be cryptic. Tonight is full of nothing but Alchemy, UCW, and UWA competitors. No AWF or BNT tonight. No. Oh. This is, in my opinion, the three core shows, the three shows that, uh, well, the two shows that we have uh, bonding with, and then, of course, us. And right there, Kill Switch Joe going to counter. But this way, I might want to sign Nikki Sutton going into next year. Famouser attack, or Famouser there from Nitro. I don't know why I said attack after it. It's been a good match, though. Kill Switch Joe now going to counter with a big knee lift. Both these two shows wanting this point here. 
AWF has no chance to get ahead here tonight. If Nitro can win, then Fatal can win. They'd actually go ahead of AWF. Oh, you know, that's not very likely, though. Nice move there from KSJ now into cover two. Fun fact, the Cryptic can win later as well. They can tie with AWF as well. No, oh, bitch slap from KSJ. Like I said, is anyone's ball game at this point in anyone's match? Not ball game. Not football. Fuck that. Now KSJ with a big right hand to Nitro. And oh boy. No. Oh. Plants him on his face with a DDT. Ties him up on the freaking ropes. KSJ now taunting on Nitro here. And now gonna jackknife him on his neck is KSJ. And now, now Nitro gonna sweep the legs of Kill Switch. Nitro now to the top rope. Could he be thinking an extreme leg drop early? No one for the diving foot stomp. Much like last video, Nitro able to stay in control though as KSJ moved out of the way. Now Kill Switch Joe counts, plants him on his face with a big DET. Now Joe lifts him up, kick to the stomach. It's going to go for a bit of a whiplash effect here. No! Oh! You know, Nitro's already tasted that before fighting Brody Lee. Now kill switch Joe, calling him up here. Going to try to end Nitro. Can he do the unthinkable here? Can they get two wins back to back? Plants him with the kill switch. Kill switch from kill switch Joe. Cover one, two, three. And just like that, like I said, moving on into this tournament, the matches are going to get quicker and quicker. It's going to be harder for people to kick out right there. That, that put him away. Nitro just got pinned by KSJ. So KSJ and, and uh, Lewis just did something I thought UCW couldn't do, and that's win two matches on, a, on one night. And just like that, UCW is now back tied with UWA and Alchemy. Man, if I'm BMP, I, I'm, they ain't really pick up wins right now because they're looking bad. We got seven, six, six, six. And no, we are not calling El Diablo. I know there's been fire and now there's a six, 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 but we are not calling El Diablo. That would be terrifying. Nonetheless, Kill Switch Joe gets the W here tonight. And now I'm time for the main event as Max Fatal goes. So keep it real with me. Oh, can you please keep your distance? Knocking on Granite's door. Trying to make my hand. Back with digital game with a bigger figure, stepping stones of life into being bigger figures. Hey, Bryce talking triggers, and I'd rather talk on numbers. Six months away, and I'm already thinking summer. Behind the scenes and on the table, that's where moves are really made. Shit, I'm trying to get really paid. Faded like a hairline, I ain't got no spare time. Turning down a pair of dimes just to hit this airline. My tattoos and scars, proudly I wear mine. Okay, so now the points are going to read as we get to the main event as Max Fatal set to come out. The points are going to read AWF 7, UCW 6, UWA 6, and Alchemy 6. And then, of course, BMP with 1. So right now, uh, as Fatal makes his way down to the ring right now, uh, you got to give the advantage to to uh, Fatal, Fatal is what I was trying to say, I got sidetracked there, Fatal's got to have the advantage here, not just because he's walking down with the UWA Hardcore Championship around his waist still, or over his shoulder, I should say, right now, and you get the point. Not only that, but he's the fresh man here against Cryptic, who has been, uh, who's been competing for a while here, and, well, he's a bit banged up, he, he's, he's, a, he's a bit banged up, I'm going to be honest here, he's, he's pretty banged up. Cryptic, last time we seen him was the time before that, I should say, his face looked like a freaking Pokemon ball. Luckily enough for him in that tag match for once, man, he's a guy that's actually got a pinball win. Shocked as hell about that. And the West Fatal right now is looking to compete here one-on-one -on -one with Cryptic of Alchemy. Should be interesting. We know Cryptic is a very, uh, very interesting superstar. Cryptic 
cryptic now, making his way down to the ring here. Like I said, his record so far in this tournament is pretty good. I will give him that. I mean, we do have two subs for uh, for each uh, for each show. You know, I, if I was Alchemy, this is what I say. If I was Alchemy, I would not sub out cryptic. He's gonna put that out there right now. I would not sub out Crypt cryptic if I was Alchemy. Because he's been looking pretty good. He is banged up. At least I went to sub him out yet. Well, I'm trying to say. Cryptic's been looking pretty good. Even though a couple weeks ago, or a couple days ago, his face did look like a fucking Pokemon ball, but still, that's besides the point. Full paw pad with the red. He's got the black stripe in the center, white bottom. It looks like a fucking Pokemon ball. Nonetheless, uh, Cryptic gonna look, try to pick up a win here tonight against Max Faber, who is now taking the spot of G and T in this tournament. Jeez. Cryptic is pretty badass, I mean, that's all I'm gonna say, but nonetheless, uh, Cryptic sliding into the rope here, getting ready for this match here. Cryptic about to go head to head with Max Fatal. Well, honestly, like I said, give the advantage to Fatal. Crowd on their feet here. I'm not being biased at all by saying that. Now Fatal's gonna slide out from under the ring. He's using his head here too. He's gonna make Cryptic come after him. Well, maybe he's trying to get away from Cryptic. Frankly, Cryptic sends him into the barricade with the punch and Fatal catching him, sleeping on him. And now playing possum and now running neck breaker out on the floor. And right there you see Fatal right away targeting the head of Cryptic here. And once again, this is not falls count anywhere like that one match was. Oh. Between Lewis C and Cryptic, so he's not gonna be able to get the win out here is Fatal. Can't take it back in the ring. Big right hand there from Cryptic. Oh boy. No, oh, into the apron. And he's been a lot better matches in the past few uh, shows. Ben's missing some pretty good matchups here. Elbow across the back of the neck there, fatal from Cryptic. Now Cryptic sends him into the barricade. Big left hook, left body shot. Went for a back axe handle. Fatal counters right into the neck breaker again. Fatal is continuing to target the neck there with those neck breakers. And now wrenching on the neck here. That's obvious where the target's at for him. I mean, why not? I was just talking about how his head was looking like a Pokemon ball the other, the other day. No! Oh, tossed over right into the steel steps. Now Cryptic lifts him up. Now he's going to send Fatal back into the ring. If I was Cryptic, I would have done more damage on the outside first. Fatal no sells that strike. Cryptic now going to counter whip, sends Fatal over the ropes. Ooh! He takes a fall to the floor. Cryptic now in control, stomps in the face of Fatal. Now in the back. He's just stomping him around right now. Oh. Is that a big boot? I think I missed it. Fatal now sends Cryptic back into the ring here. This is your main event for this episode. And now set out shoulder breaker from Fatal. Now Fatal gonna follow up here. Well, tried to. Cryptic now gonna counter, sends him over the ropes again. Cryptic has been in control of the majority of this match. Now Cryptic right after the shoulder blade there of Fatal. Oh, this is not good. Oh wait, now, oh, sweeps out the knee there. Smart now. Cutting the throat there is Fatal. He's, he's calling for the ending. No, oh, oh, right there, inverted face, Crippler. Fatal's first OG finisher from clear back in, what, 2015? No. Oh. And of course it attacked the face, which is why he pulled it out there. No. Oh. It's been his target this whole match. Now Fatal gonna roll over Cryptic right in another Anaconda Vice here. Vice submission all locked in on Cryptic. Is Cryptic gonna be forced to tap out here? He's torquing on the head. No, oh, Cryptic fights out knees to the back of the head. Fatal, of course, has got many wins with that Anaconda Vice in the past. He didn't make GMT tap out. Uh-oh. Talking about attacking the head right here. Maximum decapitation coming for Cryptic. Oh, Cryptic able to move out of the way, though. Cryptic able to move. 
Now let's call us trouble for Fagel as Cryptic was able to get out of the way there. That could end it ugly. Sure this is about to end ugly though still. Oh God. No, oh, DT off the top rope there from Fatal now into the cover. Once again attacking the head of Cryptic. One, two, and you have a damaged head. I don't think Fatal's the right person to fight to be honest if you want a chance. Oh God, now he's calling for the ending here. Fatal calling for the kill here. Club to the head there. And now twist the Fatal. No, and it connects. Twist of Fatal connects, once again attacking the neck. Oh God, now he's about to do some more head damage as he's looking for the Fatal combination. No, oh, the knee into the Lariat. God damn. Oh, now rolling him over, locking him in the Fatal Overdose. Here's Max Fatal. Cryptic in trouble, Cryptic in trouble here. One of these two teams is gonna tie AWF here. Who's gonna do it? Is it gonna be UWA or Alchemy? We'll have to wait to find out the answer to that as Cryptic fights out with an elbow to the jaw. Oh, but Fatal caught him. Cryptic ran right into it. Fatal attraction from Fatal. Now into the cover. Cover on Cryptic. One, two. No, and Cryptic somehow out at two. Cryptic somehow able to do it, man. Oh god, now Fatal once again calling for the ending. Seems as though Fatal can't put anyone away in this tournament so far. Oh god, and Spine Buster! Jeez, that was vicious. Fatal is not playing around. Of course, you gotta know Cryptic isn't either. Oh god, now Cryptic looking for that rally that he used to win many a matches here. That rally sequence. Cryptic now the club to the back of Fatal. Fatal's caught him though, Olympic slam! Oh man, shades of Lewis C there, cover one, two, and Cryptic out at two. And that was a huge Olympic slam there from Fatal. Now Fatal gloating out of the corner, I do not like that. I mean, I like seeing UWA kick ass, but I don't like seeing him taunt like that, that's stupid. Oh now Cryptic gonna make him pay for it, kick to the stomach. Oh, now Cryptic's caught him. Oh, God. Chariot of Death. No, oh, jeez. Right on his neck. Oh, my God. He set himself up for that one. One, two. No, and Fatal out of the Chariot of Death as well. The hell is it going to take to put one of these two away? Cryptic once again gloating here. Now maybe gonna look to rally again. Fatal flips out of it though, right after the shoulder of Cryptic. Now into the cover, we see him attacking earlier. Two, Cryptic out at two. Now calling him up, Cryptic in trouble here. Oh, he's caught him up. He's going for a bit of a, yeah, oh! Fuck, what? I forget what you call that, flapjack, shit. Cryptic's been busted open. No, oh, God, in a stiff knee to the face. Oh my God, he's gonna knock him out. Oh, now an elbow drop across the chest. This is not good for Cryptic. Cryptic's had way too much head damage too. No, and Cryptic escapes it too. How's Cryptic staying in this? You gotta ask that. Once again, Fatal gloating, telling him to bring it. The arrogance from Fatal is not not very keen, it's not very wanted here. Fatal now backing up into the corner. He knows he has Cryptic down and out, man. Oh God, he hits him with his boot, it's over. Maximum decapitation! No, oh, and right there, the boot to the jaw. Dude, it is over. Cryptic has gotta be out cold, man. That's more head damage. Which Cryptic cannot deal with in this tournament, dude. Oh God, now Fatal calling him up. He can't be looking for another Fatal attraction, can he? He is. Oh, geez, right after the head again, the shoulder, the same two body parts he's been attacking this whole match. One, two, three. And just like that, Max Fatal picks up his first win here in this tournament. And that puts UWA now tied with AWF. UWA all shows now tied AWF here in first place. Makes the fatal getting that W over Cryptic.
Jeez, that was crazy. Fatal picks up the W here. UWA is now tied with AWF. 